Hi everyone, this is the third time I'm starting this video over and I actually don't know how to start it. So let's just say hey. I um, I wanted to do a fabulous intro, I wanted to do an amazing first day of October 2024 because that is what this is. At least that is what I'm hoping this is. So please stay, stick around and see and hear what I have planned for this month. Hi everyone. First of all, thank you to all of the, those of you that have come back here and welcome, a big welcome to all of you that are new here, if there are any. This channel is all about sewing or actually crafting as I've just recently changed my name on the channel to The Stitchy Wife Crafting in Sweden because I've realized that I'm not just sewing and I wanted to share it all. I want this to be a kind of a diary of what, what I am doing and plan to do and some small uh, tutorials and so on. So I can share my love for this amazing all the amazing crafts out there that I, I have tried or will try. Well, this month is a big month for me uh, in a way that I'm turning 50. I, those of you that have been here before know that I am quite ill and um, no one would ever believe that I would sit here today and me definitely not. Uh, no doctor, not anyone maybe my mother uh, or at least she prayed and hoped for it i definitely know that my father didn't believe it but they are both gone and i am still here and i am super grateful for that i have had this crafting channel or a sewing channel as it was uh, for about three years now and it has been very very uh, sporadic with videos since i've been quite ill and um, I don't know if anything is going to change this month, but I'm hoping to be able to make one complete month of some kind of vlogmas, but not in December, that is. So that is why it's turning out to be Vlogtober. I found a Vlogtober, um, what do you call it, um, a series of vlogs that were called Vlogtober. And I thought, why not join in? And let's make a go of this and see how far we get. As I said, uh, my birthday is in seven days, so you will be with me preparing for that. I won't be celebrating it with anyone else but Peter, my husband, because I am um, in, uh, what do you call it? Um, you know, like when there were COVID, um, I have restrictions regarding um, bacteria, not bacteria, but um, I'm very sensitive to getting infections so I won't be able to meet anyone or get out of the house basically and um, I'm hoping to be able to meet up with my sister and her son maybe the um, two days after my birthday in Jungkile where she lives and he lives and um, I will bring you along for that too but I don't know what's going to happen this month but I will try and prepare for autumn here in Sweden because it is the most wonderful time uh, the leaves are changing color, the, um, everyone is preparing for cozying up in the sofa, so to speak. So we'll do a lot of day-to-day um, -day filming and I don't know how much there will be. I don't know if anyone is interested in following along with me. I would be happy to get suggestions of what you want to see, since I honestly don't do ma that much other than crafting and uh, maybe do some walks and so on. I will definitely take you along on that so you can see all the beautiful nature we have here. I live in on the west coast of Sweden. There are a lot of ocean, there are a lot of um, mountains, not mountains, but um, it's quite a rugged coast here. So we have a lot of cliffs and so on. So it's a beautiful area and I love it. I live, love living here and when I moved and together with Peter, he just built a house um, outside of Gothenburg, but not near the sea, but 
in the forest more or less. So I will show a little bit of the surroundings here and I will probably change out my uh, wardrobe to, for winter and autumn clothes. What I'm wearing today is I will insert here. It's actually my uh, contribution to the and there it went. Um, Precious Fabric 24. It did not turn out to be this fabric as I so hoped and wanted to. Here is my wearable toile for that fabric and I was so insecure on how this fabric would look in that so I changed my mind and I used up this beautiful bundle of small pieces of wool that a fabric called Påskrå here in Sweden. If you haven't tried it, please try it out. They have international shipping. The Swedish Krona is pretty bad um, comparing with the Euro and um, English Pound and the, um, both American and Australian and Canadian dollars. So if you want to get a, get a good price at amazing fabrics, please check this out. I will link their shop down below and I promise you they have am amazing qualities and all naturals. I think they are allowing is it 3% or 4% spandex in some of their fabrics, but that is all. Uh, they don't want any uh, man-made fabrics um, at all. And it's just a beautiful shop with so much special and um, yeah, amazing fabrics. And I've had this wool. It were two pieces that looked like this in the pattern, so to speak. I will try and make a close up of this now and put it in front of me somewhere. And um, I managed to get the Fjord Cardi from Paper Cut Pattern out of this. And I planned to make this so many autumns mainly. And I never did. I don't know why, because I definitely will be making more now. It's the perfect cardi for scraps. It's a super wearable item. I can, since you can co uh, color block it so much, it's so easy to, to use a lot of fabrics that you first of all have small pieces of, and second of all can make an ac accent um, color in. So I will definitely try this in a, some kind of sweatshirt in fabric too, because this was wool and I actually used the, I will try and insert close up on this too. Instead of making a, hem, uh, a hemband, I used the um, ribbing that was on the fabric. So I tried to use that to my advantage. The only thing I couldn't use was the sleeve part because they were too short regarding to the length of the fabric pieces I had. And I didn't want to make, a, it's a raglan sleeve, so it's quite a long piece of fabric you needed. So, and I have long arms. I'm 5'11 for those of you that haven't been here before. And uh, yeah, I needed all the length I could get out of it. So. I, I added cuffs in the same fabric as the sleeves and that worked out great, I thought, I think at least. I will insert a picture of how it's looking on me here and I am wearing, I think it is a Vogue pattern, where, um, the pants is a Vogue pattern and this top is the um, Elysium bodysuit so from Friday Pattern Company and something I definitely will make more of because it's such a great basic layer and I actually cut open the crotch area if you are allowed to say that on YouTube and added um, oh, button snaps, is that what they are called? You know those one that you click together? Sorry, I am rusty regarding the filming bit, I'm so sorry but why not give you something to laugh about? Well, uh, I made it a regular bodysuit. This is meant to be, you're meant to go through the neckline because it's so wide, as you can see, it's very deep. Sorry. Um, but um, I wanted it to be even better access because going to the toilet, it's a bit tricky to just get it over your shoulders and so on. And um, if I'm tired or unsteady, of medicines I wanted to make it an easy case 
and I've used it so much. It's just a uh, viscose jersey, I think. Super soft. But back to this. Um, no, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you more about the pants. I think it is a bit Sandra Bettina pants with another way of um, color blocking and uh, stash busting because this is also, this is from two different ponties I've used. I think I bought the ponties from maybe Beyond the Pink Door. I can't promise you that. Maybe one of them is from the Beyond the Pink Door and the other one is from a Swedish company called Self, uh, not Swedish company, um, Self Made. Uh, the uh, former Stoff and Seal, the Danish company. And um, I combined the two and it turned out great. I made the, it's supposed to be a slim leg version, but I don't know, it's not slim on me and I don't get why it turns out that way because I want them to be slimmer and I have thin legs, I know that, but I, I, but I actually used the right, correct size for my hips. I have a 14 inch hip and then I narrowed it down to the slimmest leg size. Do you get what I mean? I started up on the hips and then I graded in four or five sizes, I think, four sizes at least, and made them narrow, but they are still wide. They look great. I like them. I like them a lot, but it did not turn out how I wanted. And I don't know what went wrong, but I will definitely try those again this autumn. So you will see more of that too. But I will insist the pattern uh, front and the number here too. Well, I love the Precious Fabric Challenge and this fabric has really challenged me because I am still very afraid to cut into it because it's, as you can see, it's very drapey. And the toile, as everyone knows who has been sewing for a while, is that you should, you're supposed to make your wearable toile in a fabric that is similar to the one you're using later on. Well, I didn't. This is a thick sweater fabric. I don't know if you can see it on this. Can you see? It's a heavy sweater fabric. It's almost a stiffer one it's supposed to make it would be it would make a great fjord cardigan it would be a great cardigan fabric i know that this one is bought from beyond the pink door so it's a lot it's a beyond the pink door heavy um, episode this time uh, in her sale i think one year ago and i really love that i got this use out of it it's a bit gray for me or a bit pale for me so i get a bit gray in the face but I was thinking about adding a scarf or something like that. Maybe a knitted scarf, if I get around to it. Uh, I will try this on and insert pictures of that here. I really like the look of this. It's the Mimidi Simplicity S I will insert here because I have not prepared. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to make these Vlogtober episodes a little bit easier. Uh, to film and to watch but I will insert it here of course and I love the pattern it was a super easy sew actually even this one was a very smart way of sewing it and I will definitely use that again the only thing was that it was quite heavy here since I had such thick fabric I will put a close-up on this here so you can see what I mean and I hand sewed these two first and then put a seam there so I could um, get a neat finish. I don't think I will add buttons here, but I don't know yet. What do you think? Should I add buttons? Does that give it a more polished look or does it? I don't know how to style this one yet because it's going to get cold quite soon here in Sweden. And I want I want long sleeves on this actually. And that is why I one part why I'm scared of using this fabric for this pattern. I think this will be a uh, Andy pattern from um, Vicky Sews. Was it Andy? The pattern I was planning on in my precious fabrics. I will insert that in the, on the top here. Well, I hope you, I hope I have told you everything 
about this. I am, as I said, I'm a bit rusty now, and I'm trying to get everything. Um, what do you say? Everything. Um, I try to. I wanted to tell you what my plans are for this month, and I would love it if you would join me. And um, this video was a first and uh, of the October, and this was more or less info on my. Sorry, the table is croaking, sounding anyway. Um, yeah, it was more about the precious fabric challenge than it was October, but it will be more of October and my life tomorrow and my even more on my plans. But I want to make them not too long these videos because I know that people can't have the energy or the time to watch me every day. So if you just want to take a sneak peek, please do so. And if you would consider subscribing and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I would be so grateful because it would help my videos to get out there because YouTube does not like me at the moment. My algorithm is the al YouTube algorithm does not like me at least. It is terrible. Uh, I don't get any views and that is probably not just because I am nervous and unsure and um, yeah stumbling. I think it is because they are not promoting it at the moment. So I will try and stick to this and I am, will try and make this happen this month and follow me along long and see what happens when I'm turning 50. If life change, I don't think so. But I love being here and I am so, so grateful for being a part of this sewing community, being a part of this life and being able to sit here and talk to you and just enjoying life and giving this a go again. Now I will st stop waffling and let you go today and I hope to see you tomorrow for day two of October 2024. Bye for now. Take care and have a wonderful evening.